Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Training here. Uh, today is Monday, May 6th. I'll be going my recap for today. Uh, so today I started up the day uh, with up $150, uh, but I ended up giving away with this uh, big loss here on AMTX. Um, so let's get started. So AMTX uh, made uh, 50 bucks uh, in the morning here uh, when I saw this uh, rejection of off this 170. So you can see this made new highs of 170. Uh, on the second candle uh, with higher volume and, and I went ahead and uh, short the um, 148 here so you can see it double bottom here 148 and then there's a, 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 some support and resistance here uh, so I hit the 147s and then I covered in the one, one four, 141s and like 140s um, pretty much for a $50 win uh, it was a quick scalp um, and then it kind of was trailing back up here and, and I should have known that this was uh, grinding up here um, but what grabbed my attention for a short was this 130, 135 break here so you can see this 135 support um, and then support again and then it broke here so I went ahead and short there uh, I was in the money for about two cents um, I didn't take any profits and then I told my stop would be uh, the 140 break here um, just above VWAP um, so I, I ended up doing stopping out there um, and I felt this 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 uh, breakout here was a little premature and, but it, you know I was down uh, unrealized like 300 from here so I actually uh, just took it off I didn't want to take another big loss uh, on Friday from Friday um, so I took it off here and that was a 300 hour loss so it took away my uh, morning gains from it um, and some and some more so that was a 252 dollar loss um, and okay on to my next trade so IMGN so IMGN um, I think I went long so I, I went long here a couple of times so I think the first long was here. Um, I tried to find the the little dip here, and I thought it was gonna form another uh, another cup and handle off here, but it kind of um, didn't hold this uh, support level. Um, so I ended up stopping out there, um, and then when I saw this uh, forming again, this higher low, um, I went ahead and uh, bought this break. So I bought this break, and then I just sold onto here, and that was a ninety nine dollar winner. In the morning. Um, the next and last trade was pins, um, Pinterest. So I initially I wanted to go long here, uh, but I end up I uh, think it was breaking down this flag here. <laughs> so it was breaking down this flag, so I changed my bias to a short, but it was still holding this. Uh, flag line here um, so I end up shorting here I covered uh, I was actually up here uh, and then I try to reshort the pop thinking it would uh, kind of retest down here on the VWAP um, but it ended up holding uh, I started to add uh, and then downsize a bit um, and then pretty much I stopped here um, for for like uh, I think it was for $50 loss or so um, and then I went ahead and tried a little long here, and then I stopped pretty much break even. So that was like a one dollar loss. Uh, and then I went in ahead and think okay, yeah. So I went ahead and short here. So when I saw this uh, cup and handle forming here, uh, I went ahead and short there, um, and then covers here. So that uh, so this short. Um, um, I cut back all my losses from uh, this early short here. So total short was a twelve dollar winner. Um, so overall, I'm um, down one hundred and forty one dollars. Um, started the day green. Um, give away my profits on this last trade on AMTX. Uh, kind of disappointing. Um, and today's 
the market uh, gap down so it had some movers I felt like there was some good trades but I totally missed it um, and I need to learn not to over trade and overstay um, I need to focus on the best quality setups and learn to just you know size in big on the A plus setups and not size in big on the low quality setups like MTX I felt like I sized in way too big here uh, and Pretty much, it's not like a, a plus setups. It's like forming forming the pattern I want, but then it's like on this consolidation area. I really like these type of patterns when it's like uh, up up here, you know. So that's where I like my patterns. But uh, I don't know. I think I'm trying to force some trades here, and then um, it eventually goes down here from there. So I need to focus more on being just patient and uh, not to over trade and just take what the market gives you and not not overstay your welcome. So as always, um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, and if you haven't done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.